Okay, I love fruits, so we're gonna have some fruits. I generally get two days worth of fruits because in the summertime they begin to go bad. Plums and peaches and nectarines. I eat them and I juice them, and that's what's very good. And also for noshing, anytime you really get hungry at night, have a tangerine. It doesn't really raise the blood sugar level. Love, love mangoes, all right? And uh, kiwis are good too. Now, I don't eat bread, but for those of you who do eat bread, make sure you get the sprouted bread. By getting sprouted bread, it doesn't have all the gluten in it that other breads would have. Now, spelt bread is good. You can get spelt bread, or you can get some of the sourdough bread. And again, it's made without the dairy, without the butter, and it's tasty and delicious. And it gives you good fiber. So that's it here, except for watermelon. I like, I like the, all the melons are good, and organic. And uh, by the way, I juice a lot. I juice an awful lot of the uh, grapes. So I'm going to get one of each of the grapes. Now let's swing around here and continue on. Oh, bananas are a good source of potassium. And by the way, I like to freeze, peel them, freeze them, and then juice them. And it makes a nice kind of banana parfait. I sprinkle some walnuts, almonds, pecans on that, maybe some carob that I've melted, which is great. Apples, of course, are always important, and there are many different types of apples. I like the, the Fuji apples. Pears. Pears are great if you've got constipation. A pear a day helps keep constipation away. Now, then we come over here to the vegetable section, nice yellow peppers. I like to stuff peppers with different uh, grains and chopped up mushrooms and onions. And uh, you gotta be careful with lettuce like this because it generally only lasts about a day before it starts to wilt. But if you eat it today, it's very good for you. And then we've got turnips. I love to wash and peel turnip, dice it up, saute it in olive oil with some garlic and cayenne. Delicious, I eat it the next day in a salad. And of course, great steam broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, cauliflower, celery, you do not want to eat raw because it's very difficult to digest. Always steam it. It's much more available in its nutrients. And cabbage, I love cabbage juice and steamed cabbage with fennel, with raw honey uh, and mustard seed, a great dish. Now we come to probably one of the most underutilized sections, and that's the grains. Here we have basmati rice, which is a aromatic rice from India. We have brown rice, short grain, brown rice, long grain. We have wild rice, a blends. There must be nine different types of rice here. Um, and sushi rice, which is a sweet rice. Get your rice, it's inexpensive. Look, we're talking about what, organic, $1.69 a pound. Now compare that to white rice that has no nu real nutritional value. Now a lot of people like, they like a cereal in the morning and that's okay. And I'll show you how to do it where it's still healthy. Get a natural organic granola. Now this contains organic rolled oats, raisins, that's good. Date powder, that's fresh dates that are powdered, that's good too. Uh, hazelnuts, excellent. Uh, unsulfured molasses, still good. Apples, almonds, outstanding, and spices. So that's an excellent one there. Now there's at least 20 types of homemade granola, and these are high in fiber, good grains, and then when you know what I do? I put a tablespoon of that delicious tasting high protein powder in it. That gives me a great breakfast in the morning. So that's how you get your breakfast that you can have something filling, if you want that, if you're used to that, that's good tasting, that gives you your protein, fiber, complex carbohydrates, B vitamins, and you feel good. Americans like, like things that taste good. We like our food spicy and, and uh, flavorful. This will really add that. This is what the Japanese add. This is an organic sweet white miso. This is a soybean paste, and it has a nice sweet flavor to it, uh, and it's a ferment. And what that means is when this goes into your system, it helps enhance digestion. It helps your body recreate positive, healing, healthy bacteria. Sugar, alcohol, even in moderation, meat, that creates harmful, putrefying bacteria. And a lot of disease starts in the intestine because of what you eat. This is a great detoxifier of your intestine. And take one scoop of this, put it in boiling water, chop up a little scallions, chop up a little onions, chop up a little shiitake mushrooms, and you've got a great soup. Throw in some tofu, and that's what you get when you go to a Japanese or Chinese restaurant. You're getting tofu soup, but you're getting it with nice miso. Now there's yellow miso, white miso, red miso, and this 
your, your kids will love this. This is called Moshi, and this is a soybean ferment product, and it's got cinnamon in it, it's got uh, raisins in it, it can have apples in it, low in calories, lasts for a long time. You take this and you put it in your oven, and you just bake it just a little, and it puffs up. A puff, it gets big like this, and it's soft on the, crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Now some people will, will put a little jam on it, like a, a natural preserve-free, sugar-free jam, strawberry jam, blueberry jam. Others might pour some maple syrup on it. But you have this at night, or when you want a snack, it fills you up. And because, it, because it's, uh, it's made from rice, and other ingredients that stay a little longer in the system, you won't be hungry for hours after eating this. A great snack. Well, this is a real fun area here because here we have the nuts and the seeds and look at all the beans, the things you never eat, like black sesame seeds and regular unhold sesame seeds and couscous, white couscous, black couscous, mung beans, azuki, pinto, soy, great northern navy, French lentils, great tasting, green lentils, split peas, yellow split peas, green split peas, black turtle beans, lima beans, black eyed peas. Now I know you eat those up here in the south. As, and zuki beans, kidney beans, seven barley beans, chickpeas, millet, quinoa, oats. These are all delicious, nutritious, inexpensive, loaded with protein. And then look at all the dried fruit combinations here. There's over 30 varieties of dried fruit from papaya, great for digestion, Pineapple, phenomenal for enzyme activity in the system. Mission figs for energy. When I grew up, I was vegetarian, but I ate a lot of dairy, and my eyes were always puffy. And then one day I gave up dairy, and within one week, that puffiness went all away. Now this entire section here, clear down from way down here to way up there, is all milk substitutes, like rice milk and it comes in every flavor, uh, from uh, cherry to chocolate, from vanilla to plain. And then we have soy milk, and an equal number, and oat milk, and almond milk, and coconut milk. And look at all these different alternatives. Great tasting almond milk, by the way. I have that, and I take it with me. So whenever I'm traveling, I take one of these rice milks with my protein powder, and um, I can go into any hotel and order an oatmeal in the morning and with some fruit and pour my protein powder and my rice milk on it, I'm set. And when I'm working, like today, I'm working all day filming this, I don't have time to eat, I'll make myself a green juice, fruit juice, protein, and rice milk. And what's nice is, look at the variety you now have to select from, and it's very inexpensive. And by the way, if your kids, just can't get themselves off colas. This is a cherry cola. And it's got no caffeine, has no artificial flavors or color or additives, and at least it allows them a transition from the real cola to this cola, which is natural and non-toxic, and in time, hopefully, they'll get into fresh juices. Natural graham cracker. By the way, Graham was one of the first health advocates in the United States. The man who invented the graham cracker, he was into it. Whole grain spelt cracker. So when you want to travel or when you want something that's non-calorigenic and healthy, how about these? These I like. These are the brown rice snaps, tamari, sesame, garlic, onion. Got all the different flavors. Nice um, thin crisps. And again, these are good for you. Now, a big question is, what I use if I want something that's sweet? Well, how about one of nature's most perfect sweeteners, raw, unheated, organic honey. Raw, organic honey. Or maple syrup. That's also good. Okay? And molasses. Blackstrap molasses. And of course, so we'll throw in a raw honey. And by the way, a lot of recipes call for molasses, so you can use molasses. Now, I see right up here, are some herbal teas, and that's a nice way when you're tired and you want a nice valerian root tea, when you've got no energy and you want a nice ginseng, red zinger tea, when you've got some digestive problems and you want a mint tea. So let's throw in some of the teas. Oh, and by the way, I, 
I, every single day I make sure I have at least one cup of green tea. Green tea is your most medicinal of all teas. It has so many healing properties in it. The scientific literature is full of stories about the proving the green tea's medicinal benefit. Now, lemons, lemon ginger, that's good for digestion. Um, and orange mango, it also good for digestion and energy. Uh, one good tea here, I, I really like it. Let's see if I can find it. It is a lemon zinger. Make this into an iced tea after a hard workout. You pour your iced tea in with some ice and little bits of lemon. What a way to quench your thirst, because lemonade with ice quenches your thirst. And also, it's not bad to have in the house. Peanut butter is good. Tahini, which is sesame uh, paste, is good because you can put this on a rice cake and put it in the oven and let it kind of melt over. Put some raisins on it. Delicious tasting. Again, all this stuff that sounds like it would be bad for you is good for you. And here's some sugar-free uh, natural organic preserves. Now, this one's great. They've got grape, peach, raspberry, blueberry. So why, get, why go for the sugar ones when you've got natural ones? You've got dozens of them here to select from. And of course, we've got to have our sea vegetables. So here we have sea vegetables, hajiki, got to have that. Dulse, good for the thyroid gland. Um, nori, oh, you, you make nori rolls, like tofu rolls and rice rolls with nori. Very easy to work with. Um, by the way, soba noodles are what they use in all the Japanese restaurants. Very, very tasty. Cooks in five minutes. Good as a complex carbohydrate. And I want to make sure I have the right spices. I want tarragon in there. I want Cajun. And I want, uh, I want black pepper. Love black pepper. Dill, fennel, cayenne, cumin, rosemary. Rosemary, by the way, is the best antioxidant herb. So you see, you make your dishes taste good with these spices. I, of course, can't forget olive oil. What did I leave out here? Ah, paprika. Got to have some paprika there. So you see from air popcorn that's organic and okay and tempeh and all the foods that I was able to buy that not only duplicate what you would be having on a diet that would cause you to gain weight and be sick and be allergenic. This is doubling your nutrition at substantial savings. And it's causing you to be able to have the nutrients that enrich the body, stimulate a natural immune response, detoxify and cleanse all the things that are good for you. And I didn't even get everything in here I would otherwise buy it because I didn't even get to the salad dressings and the olive oil and some other things. But this just gives you an idea. This is how you should be shopping.